Foliota Oravella, also known as Golden Foliota and the Golden Scaly Cap. Golden Foliota is a name used for several different Foliota species. Some of these species are very difficult to distinguish from one another, but before we talk about why that is, let's take a closer look at this beautiful photogenic mushroom. This golden scaly cap is saprobic and parasitic. Therefore, it can receive energy from dead or living trees, found on deciduous or conifer wood, and most of the time growing in clusters. Depending on your geographical location, this mushroom is usually found from midsummer to late fall. The cap is yellowish orange with irregularly placed reddish brown scales. With a little bit of moisture being introduced, the cap becomes very slimy. The texture and consistency is very marshmallow-like, puffy and squishy. As the cap ages, it flattens out becoming more broad and convex. Oftentimes, the veil will leave behind a thin band-like remnant towards the top of the stipe. However, this band may not be noticeable or present. Other than that, there is no skirt or ring. The stipe is up to 4 inches long, with a lighter color at the top becoming more scaly and brownish yellow towards the bottom. The gills are a cream color, which turn a brownish red with age. The gills are attached to the stipe and closely spaced together. Foliota oravella has a rusty brown spore print. In fact, the other species of foliota that we're going to talk about have the same spore print color as this one. So why is it so difficult to identify one golden foliota species from another? Well, some foliota species share near identical physical traits, with the only observable difference being the size of spores produced. Therefore, microscopic analysis is needed for accurate identification. For example, the species Foliota limonella can be virtually identical to Foliota oravella, except under a microscope it has smaller spores and is also found to be incompatible with one another in laboratory mating studies. The golden scaly cap is known by most mushroom lovers as Foliota orivella. However, newer studies indicate that a number of similar species have been mislabeled with the same name. Therefore, when this mushroom is put into a search engine, several different species names will come up. You can see that golden foliota may be a group of species that can't be differentiated in the field. Okay, so are any of these golden foliota edible? From what I have seen, foliota limonola is listed everywhere as inedible, while foliota oravella the mushroom seen in this video has mixed reviews on its edibility. Perhaps the identification confusion plays a role in the mixed results in edibility, as some sources list Foliota oravella as edible and some sources say it is not edible. The famous mycologist David Aurora has reported that Foliota oravella has a taste that resembles marshmallows without the sugar. He also stated that many people had experienced gastrointestinal pain and discomfort from trying this mushroom. I personally wouldn't recommend eating this mushroom due to the uncertainty around identification in the species types. If you do want to eat an up and coming scaly foliota, look no further than the foliota adiposa, the chestnut mushroom. Foliota adiposa is a newer culinary delight. It's easy to grow and is being cultivated all around the world. Foliota adiposa has a nice crunch to it even after being cooked. It also has a nutty flavor. Of course, there are plenty of golden foliota species I won't be able to cover for simplicity's sake, but it's safe to say that the identification of some species remains unresolved. If you have any experiences or information regarding this golden scaly cap, 
please drop it in the comment section below. We would love to hear about it. That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next Mushroom Time.